All right, let's get into it. News for the run, starting off in the NCAA tournament. The final four for the men's is set as well. You got NC State back again, both men's and women, which is incredible. But for the men specifically, NC State will be playing Purdue and Alabama will be going against UConn. Now, I'm hoping to see Alabama win this ball game because um, I watched them all season long. I watched them in the tournament. They've been playing great, but I'm a little biased here because the coach that they have, he also coached in my district. He coached with the Romulus Eagles, bro. Shout out to them, man. And they were, they were dogs at that time. It was more so when my brother was in high school, so I was watching him get his head cracked by the Romulus Eagles at the time. But boy, hey, man, he had he had them boys nice. That was probably the first time I've ever seen guys really like dunk a basketball with ease. I was younger at the time too, but that that was like, man, hey, it was, it was, it was a dope time. That was probably the first time I seen some real athletes go up and grab the ball from alley-oops and, and really get freaky with dunking the ball. <laughs> But other than that, though, I think Alabama is a, a very streaky team. They they play great against Clemson. And, you know, if they can continue to shoot the way they did against Clemson, I think they got a bright future ahead of them playing against UConn. But the thing is, you can kind of say all of those things about UConn as well from the way they've been playing and smacking teams lately. So, you know, hey, it's a great matchup. I'm excited for that. Um, now, South Carolina's women team, they've advanced to four straight Final Fours and they still remain undefeated after beating Oregon State over the weekend. So I want to give a quick shout out to Dawn Staley, man. She has been killing it over there. That is a great, great, great program that they have over there at South Carolina for the women's team. And my Detroit Tigers, we had a great opening week. We finished 3-0. and I don't know how long it will last, truth be told. We kind of got a lot of talent, but the thing here that scares me is we don't have that much experience. There's a lot of young guys on this team. And the Tigers, I think in the future, like maybe next three to four or five years, okay, we will probably be dangerous. We'll probably be a team to worry about. But as of right now, I'm trying to just enjoy the wins that we have because I don't know how long this is going to last with us being so young and, you know, starting off this way. We don't really have that much going on for us. But, I mean, we got some good young talent, so I I'll take it right now. Now, the Astros pitcher tonight, Ronald Blanco, he finished the game with a no-hitter. It was crazy. This is, the only, this is only his eighth start of his career, and Blanco is also the first in 2024 to pitch a no-hitter. So, I mean, this was dope, man. They played the Blue Jays. They smacked up on the Blue Jays 10-0. Um, but this is a huge win for the Astros bouncing back after what happened when they played the Yankees. Um, and then you already know, man, the Yankees, along with a few others, they're off to a hot start. The Yankees, they're off to a 4-0 start for the first time since 2003. 